Not every creature has the luxury of things like speed and sharp teeth. And the ocean can be an unforgiving place for wildlife without those qualities. But all is not lost for them because some come armed with a secret weapon, making them more than capable of holding their own in what can be difficult underwater ecosystems. We're talking about stealthy marine life. This episode is a tribute to animals that keep things very much on the down low. Welcome to Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up on this episode, will the snail win the race? And before we start, if you do like our videos, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Egypt's Red Sea. Stonefish are famous for two things, camouflage and being one of the most venomous fish in the world. Their poison can even make easy work of an adult human. And because they're able to blend in with their surroundings, they often manage to stay off predators' menus too. But their tricks are not 100% effective. But why didn't the toxic stonefish affect the octopus? Well, it looks like the predator was well prepared. As it wrapped its tentacles around the stonefish, it injected its own toxin, paralyzing the prey instantly. Let's not forget that some octopuses can also camouflage themselves, so this one matched the stonefish on pretty much everything. Let's take a closer look at the stonefish camouflage, with this one also in the Red Sea. They've basically evolved to look like coral or rock, so they can hide easily. As ambush predators, this obviously gives them an advantage when it comes to finding food, but it also helps them steer clear of things that might want to eat them. Some stonefish have even been observed with algae growing on their backs, making their rocky look all the more authentic. Victoria, Australia. Octopuses or octopi, yes, both are correct, often use camouflage when hunting or hiding. Some use pigment in their skin to change colour, others simply bury themselves in the sand, like this aptly named sand octopus. To evade predators, sand octopuses are even able to submerge their heads and wait for the threat to pass. New South Wales, Australia. Cuttlefish often use what's called adaptive camouflage and look how effective it is. Because it's incredibly complicated, we're working on an episode explaining how this works in detail, but it basically means their bodies can match certain colours and textures in their environments, rendering them pretty much invisible. Dahab, Egypt. Not only do little dragonfish come with bony body armour, they also spend their time on the seabed. They're only about 8 centimetres long, so looking more like a shell or a bit of rubble than a fish is extremely beneficial. They tend to feed on tiny crustaceans which are also found on the ocean floor. Little dragonfish are usually overlooked by predators themselves simply because of their camouflage. The Atlantic Ocean off North Carolina. This is an Atlantic midshipman, an ambush predator with one of the fastest strikes of any fish. It looks like sea snails or quill worms might be its prey, 
but something bigger is on the way. The victim was a Barracudina, and it stood no chance. The stealth and speed of the attack was impressive, but it was perhaps made more so by the fact this happened hundreds of metres below the surface. The Philippines. Frogfish are like Swiss army knives. Firstly, they're a member of the anglerfish family and actually have lures to help them catch prey. Here you can see one in action, and it's obvious how it resembles the infamous anglerfish. These guys are also blessed with camouflage capability, which, like every other creature, they use to catch prey and to avoid becoming it. by Indonesia. When evolution hasn't blessed you with super stealth powers, you have to do something to balance the scales. Kind of like this camera shy crab using a leaf to hide on the ocean floor. But that's not the only trick up this crab's sleeve. Like the sand octopus earlier, this guy can also bury its head in the sand to avoid becoming something else's dinner. Some of the creatures we've featured on this episode might seem kind of underrated. They don't pack the same punch as a great white shark, but they don't need to change colour, bury themselves, hide in holes, and even essentially shapeshift. And that's why we thought it was worth looking at some of the more stealthy wildlife in the ocean. We hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll be back next week with more awesome sea life footage.